Hi guys, welcome to another episode of To Talk with Amina and Lipa. Yeah, sorry, today I'm alone again, no problem, because soon my colleague, I mean my friend, she'll be there, so we talk, uh, take everything together again. So, I just, before starting, I just want to say Happy New Month to all my friends, all my followers, Happy New Month, Happy New Month of November. And then it's also my month because, you know, the Queen is born in November. So it's also my month of birth. Happy birthday to me already. So, yes, I wake up this morning with this thing, this question. I say okay today I think I have to answer the question because yeah I have a lot of questions I have a lot of questions people asking me every time why 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 today I say today is the day I will give you the answer <laughs> I will give you the answer okay you ask me what's the question you know people I used to ask me Amina why did you change your religion why did you change because my name is Amina, so you understand Amina is a Muslim name, so I, I was born Muslim. They asked me, why did you move? Why did you change? change? So today is your day because I will give you the answer. Yes, guys, welcome back, welcome back. So I will give you answer today of why I move, I change, I gave my life to Christ. <sighs> so like I said, I grew up with a Muslim family. So I was born with a Muslim family. I go up with all the love that a child can have, and then I was the first to my mom and to my um, with my mom too. So and my mom is a she's she's a Christian woman, but she give a lot to um, she my when she married my father, she become Muslim. So but she has a Christian family. So when I was growing up, you know, as a Muslim, we need to go to learn Quran, we need to learn a lot of things, to know how to pray, know how to do a lot of things. So during my growing time, there was a lot of question inside my heart because a lot of things was happening when you learn Quran, a lot of things they were saying. I was I was not hearing it very well. For me, I was like, I don't understand why God can create us and give again a lot of this restriction I don't understand so I was just like God I don't understand all this so I need to find I need to find my way I was not okay with all this but I was just pretending like okay 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 but I was saying in my mind that the day I will find myself I will move I was just saying everything when I will find myself I will move so when I was learning Quran um, one day the, the lecture I say that uh, it's better for you to die Muslim than dying Christian because if you die Muslim you go straight to the paradise and then if you die Christian you go straight to the hell. I was like, what? So if I die Muslim I'm going to the paradise, yes. But if I die Christian I'm going straight to the hell. The thing I was just Coming, uh, the thing was just coming in my mind that time was my, my my mother family because they are very nice. Seriously, I was just saying to all of them go straight to the hell because they are Christian. I said okay, no, no, this thing is not okay. So after the teaching, I went to see my mom. I used to ask a lot of questions to my father. A lot, like I think sometimes was saying you you too much question, asking too much question. He knows that we you your question is too much. <laughs> so I asked my mom that, mommy. Yeah, they say that if you die uh, Christian, you go to the hell. And then you want to say that, mommy, your mother, she will go straight to the hell. And she said, I don't know, just go and learn. Just go and learn school. I said, huh? It's all, it's okay. I find my, I find my own answer. So that one was all the first thing because a lot of things they were saying. You, I was just okay. I was not okay about all the, all this thing, all this, all that. So. During the vacation, holiday, I used to go and say my father wants to go and visit my mom family. I have a cousin, my cousin, she was a, oh my god, she's, she's my twin, until now we are like twins, so I used to, I want to go and stay with her, I want to go and stay with her, we used to be together. So when I'm going, maybe she'll go to church, she'll come back, she starts singing this Christian song with happiness, all these things, you know, joy, there was a lot of joy in the house, I was like, Every time, you know, when you go somewhere and there's a happiness as a child, 
every time when you go when you come back you're just you don't want to come back you just want to stay there when i thought you want to come back today i was like no give me again auntie please auntie daddy i want to stay again one day because you know this kind of love you just want to stay i'm not saying my family was not there was no love yes there was a love but that happiness without restriction that one i was missing that one you know a lot of things that you can play out you know, when you feel like you can't do this you can't because you can't like one day i have an auntie who came not not the auntie the grandmother who came and, and said that two ladies cannot sleep cannot sleep in the same bed or i can't sleep in the same bed with my brother i can't do this one with myself what? seriously so my brother was like seven years i can't sleep with him because the man maybe in the night something can happen say oh my god no it's you you are the one putting bad intention there and there mind of uh, children how come i can't sleep with my brother i can't do this one i can't do this you can if your mother is in the in the house you can if she's naked maybe okay she just wear you can't see her because i was like no this one is too much i was feeling my hair was became like very big i was like no god i like peace i like freedom but this kind of this kind is too much for me and i know to get out so i was just okay then, I got to the age like you know time to when you start people are just running around you and then and then you heard about marriage uh, one cause cousin yes she she came with somebody and then she said no just say that no you can't marry Christian because uh, your religion doesn't allow that you can marry only a Muslim or a Christian who is Muslim already but you can't marry Christian. I was like, how? So if I find somebody I love, we, we are we, we are in love together. You can't get, you can't marry because it's Christian. So I was no, I can't. This is is too much for me. I don't know people. I and I know a lot of people who are just pretending, just to 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 just um please. But no, me I was not. I'm not the kind of person. I don't like. I'm I'm not pretending. I like to show myself once. When those who knows me knows that I don't I don't I don't hide anything. I'm just me. So I was like another thing, another point again, and people, a lot of people are asking me. I mean, uh, I know maybe you move, you move because uh, you you change your religion because you want to wear short skirt, you want to eat pork. I said no. I used to wear short skirt when I was Muslim, not too short, but I used to wear short skirt. It's not the reason. The reason was a peace. Until the one day, I went to spend time to my auntie, my mom, sister. And um, I was uh, there's a one TV um, channel they call LMTV, and I was watching, and then I saw Joss Mayer. It was the first time for me to saw her, to, to see her, Joss Mayer. She was pushing. That day, that woman pushed. I feel like the kind of freedom. I just feel like, oh my God, this is what I was looking for. This kind of world of peace. You know, when you listen to the words, they're talking about love, peace, love, love the person, love this one, love. So there was not, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. You just love, love God, give your love to God, love your neighbor, love. I mean, it was just talking about love, about how you pray God, about how you can open your heart to God, about how you can, I was like, here yeah, I'm standing, I can't move anymore. So I start listening to her every time, listening to her every time, until I gave my life to Christ. So, uh, I gave my life in Christ exactly uh, 2012, it was in June, I think in June, uh, the beginning of the month of June, I gave my life in 2012. And that day everything was until now. Seriously, people used to ask me, I mean, I need to come back, you need to change, you need to come back here to the, the to come back to your religion because it's not good what you are doing. Uh, and I said, My friend, where I am, nothing removed me, nothing, nothing, even caterpillar, like you see, <laughs> they will not move me because here where I'm standing, I'm standing with God, nothing because I love Him and I want just to share to Him, I want just to give Him all the love I can give because He gave me all He has. He gave me all he has so what else can i do for him just give him that love and that love i can do it to share with others to share the love of god so now i can't i'm just stuck here with him with love in love not stuck in the stuck in love so so this is the reason 
Oh, for some reason why I, I gave my life to Christ it's not because of somebody who gave me the I mean I come because I want to marry you know it's not because I want to wear shirt no it's not because I want to eat pot no it's because I was looking the love I was I was looking God I was looking for the peace the peace of God you know the peace of heart and I found it and when I found it everything changed because I was a hunger person before you know when I used to keep things in my heart but since I gave my life to Christ, you know, I don't think things like that. I just, it's fine, it's okay, it's, yes. And then I'm just take, I'm just taking things very easy, very, very easily. So, me, I'm just happy to be Christian now. I'm just enjoying my life as a Christian. And I wish uh, those who are maybe asking the same question, or maybe they are asking they, they were, they, they, um, they were like me before. That they're thinking maybe it's not the right. Is the right thing to do seriously is the right thing to do to do and i want to uh, say to somebody to take the decision now because don't wait tomorrow because don't know where you will be tomorrow take the decision now to stand with god to stand with jesus and you see like thing will be perfect for you hmm? so i hope this uh, question <laughs> i hope i answer all these questions you were asking me before and i hope this question will inspire also somebody and i know a lot of people like me before have this kind of question and they're facing all this thing also so i hope this uh we touch uh we make you to think also about it uh thank you so much for watching this uh, video and uh, see you next week for another video thank you so much God bless you. <laughs>